Governor Mark Dayton has vetoed a bill that would nullify a water quality standard that's meant to protect wild rice, calling it an extreme overreach that would guarantee lawsuits. The legislation passed by the Republican legislature would have nixed a largely unenforced 1973 law limiting sulfate discharges into water where wild rice grows to 10 milligrams per liter. Supporters argued the standard is outdated and would cost mining companies hundreds of millions of dollars. Opponents argued those standards protect a food that is integral to Ojibwe culture. One of the bill's sponsors expressed frustration with the veto. I just asked the governor, rethink what you've done. You literally have thrown a whole part of Minnesota under the bus uh, on, uh, on this standard that we've never enforced. So again, I'm deeply disappointed, but I will pledge to all the people of Minnesota, we will continue. We will continue to get this mess cleaned up uh, and fix this sulfite standard business. We cannot continue to throw our rural communities, particularly the Northeast, under the bus. As, as this veto has done. Governor Dayton did acknowledge that recent studies have questioned whether the limit was necessary on all wild rice waters, especially when sulfate treatment can be costly for mining companies and municipalities. The Democratic governor says lawmakers have enough time to reach a workable compromise before the legislature adjourns on May 21st. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.